everyone, I'm Rachel. In this tutorial, I'll teach you how to create hyper-realistic tiger fur using the Color Therapy app. There are many ways to do fur. I'll show you step-by-step -step how I recommend creating tiger fur, but this can be applied to any short to medium length furry animal as well. Find this image under Animals, Animals Close Up. All right, let's start off by tapping in our base color. So let's start off with black. Tap in the nose, the stripes, and the pupil. From the brown palette, select the fourth color on the top row and tap in the face. You can tap in the eye with a yellow color from the brown palette as well. I'm using the seventh color on the second row and just tapping it in. Now go to the smudge tool. Set the size to 75 and opacity at 45. And then turn coloring inside the lines mode to on. From the brown palette, select the second color on the top row. It's a dark brown. Now what you're going to do is add in a base layer around the face. So for example, I'm going to shade the nose right here coming down from the eye in this area. And I'm kind of just outlining the nose going up their forehead and then just around the head. Now I'm also looking at a reference to see how tiger fur would look to know where to put the darker shadows and highlights. So it's going to be a little bit lighter right here and then above the eyebrow. Now on the same palette, go to the very last row and choose the second to last color. It's a really light yellow. And I'm going to just lighten up the area just where the jowls are here and then above the eyebrow and then a little bit right here to the right of the eye and then just in the middle of the nose. And then on top of that, I'll add a bit of white as well, just so it's really bright. Kind of in the middle of where I added that yellow highlight. Now turn coloring inside the lines mode to off. Go back to the smudge tool. Now set the size at 13 and opacity at 40. Now using black, we're going to make all of these harsh black lines fuzzy. So just basically trace around them with your finger so that there's no harsh black lines and apply that to all of the stripes. This will help to blend the fur in. Now we're going to manually add in all the fur strokes and lines. So let's start with the eye. You always want to start with the eye and just work your way outward going with the direction of the fur. So you can see there's actually already guiding lines there for you showing which way you should go with your strokes. I'm also going to add just a bit of white right underneath the eye to the right of it. Just so it looks more like a realistic tiger. Now the best way to do this is to sample a color that you want to start with. So if I'm going to start with this white area, sample it there and then go to the pen tool, set the size at one and opacity at 100 and just begin to make short, quick strokes going the, in the direction of the fur. You just want to be consistent about it. And now you can also bring those strokes into other parts of the fur so it begins to blend. So see how my strokes are kind of going up into the black area there. And then you'll do the same with the black. So just bring the black fur strokes down into the white. And then once you get down to a, br a brown area, just sample that color and continue to do the same thing. I'm just bringing in a little bit of the brown strokes up into the black, a little bit into the white, and it's just blending. So all you need to do is apply those steps to all of the fur. Now the next step really will just seal in the realism. So you need to go to the smear tool and just set the size at one and intensity at 100. And then use your finger and you're just going to blend just a few areas here and there of the fur. So just little short strokes blending the fur. So make some of the edges and the tips of each stroke. It's really blurry and it helps to make it really look more realistic. Again, just leave a few of them unsmeared. I'm really just tapping and pulling just very short little quick movements. This helps to make the fur look fuzzy as well. I also recommend adding in a little bit of the surrounding color into other parts where it's not supposed to be. For example, I'll select this color right here and just add it in into the black fur here. Just a few little strokes or even into the white. So you just want to apply that to the rest of the animal. Another tip to remember is that with most animals, the fur is shorter around the eyes and face and gets longer the further it goes out from it. If you'd like to see more tutorials like this, don't forget to subscribe to the Color Therapy YouTube channel so you don't miss any new tutorial videos. Thanks for watching our tutorial. You can get the Color Therapy app for free on the App Store.